NHL veteran Evgeny Kuznetsov had his first multi-goal game since 2013, and this one was a beaut. Did you see that? The puck just bouncing around. It falls right on his tape. It's on its edge. He just scoops it up. Says, look, I'm like one of the young kids now. I'm ditzy doodling. Put me on the Anaheim Ducks. Oh, my goodness. That woman under the flying horse's right arm looks so incredibly Russian. <laughs> That's what the movies depict Russian women as. That's unreal. That was something you missed that you never planned on watching. And this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Today's episode is brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook. Let's go to Ohio State High School football. I think this is a semifinal game, regional semifinal playoff game between number two seed Hillsdale and number three seed Malvern. And Hillsdale is down four at the half. Two and a half seconds left. Last play of the first half. Time's out now. QB's just rolling around. Hail Mary in action says, go this way, go this way, go this way. Throws it up, and you have the perfect play. You have number three just waiting for the tip. Just how you practice it. He's just standing and watching. Don't play the ball. Just wait for the tip. Everyone knows. So many players don't actually do that, though, because everyone wants the ball. But this is perfect. It's like a disciplined play by him. Just looking, waiting, gets it. So they finish the first half with a Hail Mary that gives them the lead. Pretty cool. Not bad. Let's move on. Fourth quarter, 37 seconds to go. Hillsdale's up. By four, and Malvern converts for the touchdown to give them the lead. They go for two to make it a four-point game, and that defender just just bit on the play action more than I, I had to watch this a bunch of times. Like, how did that guy get so open? It's like, well, he just bit on the play action so bad and then was out of position. So now it's 48 to 44. It's a four-point game with 30 seconds to go. But Hillsdale got the Hail Mary to end the first half. They say, why don't we just do that same shit again? 10 seconds left, midfield. They go to 18, and he's just going to run all the way around. He's going, and he's down with, when did they stop it? 1.8 seconds to go. But that puts them within range for the Hail Mary, which they say, we did it once. Let's just do it twice. And Malvern's being like, no way we're going to allow them to Catch a Hail Mary two times in one game. Both buzzer beating Hail Marys. No time left on the clock twice. And they Hail Mary us twice. Not us. We're Malvern. Turns out Malvern allows buzzer beating Hail Marys. And that one tipped a bunch and all of Malvern. Is that me saying that right? Malvern? Having like semantic satiation with that word just sounds not like a real word to me. Uh, Hillsdale, congrats. <laughs> two Hail Marys. That's devastating. Is that just a height situation? You just don't practice covering Hail Marys? Is it a skill thing? The first one, oh, that kid's sad. And the kid on the opposing team is trying to help him out, cheer him up. That's nice to see. It's sportsmanship. He probably doesn't want it in the moment, but he'll get older, reflect on it, and be like, yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Better than talking shit, right? Just tosses it into the pile. Again, tips out. Just bat that down. Just bat that down. Everybody knows. Hard to do. You always see people not just bat it down. You always people not just wait for the tip. Hard to do. That's coming down fast. Piles of hands, and he's in the back of the pile and just corrals it. Unbelievable. Almost as unbelievable as yours truly leading the league in hits, batting average, and OPS. Now Team Baggage is going to the playoffs. We haven't won a playoff game all season. So this Sunday or next Sunday, whatever, December 8th, go tune in. Will anybody get me out? Huh? Is it possible? Game tying hits? I got gotcha. you. So go check it out. Go Baggage, go. Boing, boing. We stole that from West Bromwich Albion, obviously. As I said earlier, today's episode of Things You Missed is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Grab your favorite team's jersey and some snacks and head to the couch for another Sunday of action-packed football and get even closer to the action each Sunday with our partners at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Right now, all new customers who bet just $5 will get 150 in bonus bets if your bet wins when you use 
code MIST. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code MIST and bet just $5 on any wager and get 150 in bonus bets if your bet wins. That's promo code MIST only at DraftKings Sportsbook. We've got another extreme mismatch in sumo, which happens often. I under, I understand that. 16-year-old Kose versus 32-year-old Gokshin. A couple weeks ago now, somewhat, we did sumo a match like this, and it's a pinned comment, maybe two or three things you missed episodes ago, where people left, he left a very detailed message about how sumo works, how these matchups happen, and all the arrangement and, and the history of it. It's a very good read. Actually, all the comments are very informative. You guys are a great comment section. Whenever there's a new sport, and I'm bringing it to you, just like wide-eyed, like, yo, this is cool. Can an expert teach us more about this? The comment section on the videos are very informative and nice. So just a quick thank you to you guys that help everyone get out. All we want to do is learn about cool sports here, sports we don't usually watch, you know? So 16-year-old, he's smaller than the 32-year-old, and you're going to get a big big matchup here. This this 32-year-old, he's odd-shaped. And I, obviously, sumos are big, but he's usually when they're that round, they're taller. Wow, he went to the head right away, huh? Let's watch it again. He just goes bat down his head. Watch this. Down, 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 down. Get down. Kid stands up. 16, dude. That's bravery. That is bravery. Oh, man. That's a big body. He's just pounding him in the face. So he's trying to get to his belt to spin him. He's got his belt. Oh, see what happened there? Let's slow it down. So he he got to his belt, and what he does is he, he locks his arms, and he's going to go bang, rips him up, the big dude. He's like, get off my belt. So he gets him off his belt, but then he's got his left hand on his belt. Okay, time to push him to the rope. His feet are slipping. He gets the little kid to the rope and then goes for the double-handed face push, which means all of his weight and balance is going forward. If this isn't the move that finishes it, he's in trouble. And what the 16-year-old Kose does is he just spins out of it. Not today, big guy. I'm staying up and you're going down. Pretty cool, but I'll help you up. You usually don't see him help each other up. And also, he can't help him up. He's like so much taller. Great hair on the little dude. So he's got his hand on his belt. And when he uh, lets go, the when the big dude lets go with both his hands, he knows, all right, this is the final push. I got to just make sure he falls before me. And he's able to use the rope, use his feet on the rope to steady himself and then throw his legs up, almost jump, so he lands second. That's crazy. 16-year-old doing all that? It's too much. Scary. We're going to end today's episode on a high note, an emotional, a touching, beautiful moment that we got from college volleyball. Louisiana and Georgia Southern. Louisiana leads two sets to one. So if they win this one, they win 23 to 16. After that's 24 to 16. It's match point. It's senior night. And that face that that woman is holding up belongs to this player, number one, her name is Sienna DeCambra. She's a senior. She suffered a season-ending ACL and meniscus injury during preseason. Didn't play all season, but was dressed to play on senior night. And with match point, they put her in the game to get the serve opportunity so she can have one moment on the floor before she ends her college career. She's in the brace. She can't really move, so she's just going to serve, and then she can't really help them on the de- Ace! Holy shit! She splits the defenders. She gets match point on an ace, and they all are hugging her, and you can see it's very emotional for her. And I got sent this highlight on, like, a Saturday morning that I was really tired, um, and that is when I'm like... I'm going to cry if you send me anything emotional. And I got misty-eyed because it's just like, damn, look at her. That's so nice. What a beautiful moment to end it. Lost senior season due to injury, but she has a great memory. And her teammates are cheering for her because they know exactly what that means. Just bam, splits the defenders, match point, ace, awesome, beautiful moment. And that's, that's the fun part about sports or just like life and humans and all that, cheering for each other picking each other up, giving each other moments and memories. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys very, very much. I'll be back. You'll be back. We'll all be back. Leave a a comment. Those help so much. And share it with a friend if you have. Appreciate you. Goodbye.